In this question, I'm tasked with the following information. I have helium, and I'm told that uh, I've got 0.765 moles, so I'll put that under the category N for moles, or number of moles. I've got neon, I've got argon, and I've got 0.330 moles of neon. I've got 0 0.110 moles of argon. I'm then asked, uh, oh, I'm also told that the volume of the vessel that they're all confined in is 10 liters, and the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, uh, which happens to be 298.15 kelvins. So I'll just go ahead and make the jump to kelvins there. It's ask, asking me in part A to calculate the partial pressure of each of the gases in the mixture. So I'm going to do this for helium. As I discussed in a separate video, if you amalgamate Dalton's law with the combined gas law, you discover that uh, the pressure of any individual gas, in this case helium, is equal to the number of moles of that individual gas multiplied by RT divided by V. In other words, you can treat each of these individual gases separately and get an individual pressure just for that gas, even though they're all together. You don't have to worry about the other gases somehow changing the pressure of helium. It's all uh, you know, kind of plug and chug kind of stuff. So the pressure of helium is going to be equal to the number of moles of helium, which is once again given to me, 0.765 moles, multiplied by the ideal gas constant, which is 0 0.08206 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin, multiplied by temperature, which is 298.15 Kelvins, all divided by a volume, which is 10 liters. Beautiful thing about this is everything should cancel each other out. I've got liters here, liters there, moles there, moles there, kelvins there, kelvins there. For helium, I end up getting a final pressure of 1.87 atmospheres. I will not do this for neon and argon, but we'll let you do that on your own. In part B of this question, I'm asked to calculate the total pressure for the entire system. Here's how you do that. You take the individual pressure of helium, and you add to that the individual pressure of neon, and you add to that the individual pressure of argon according to Dalton's law. We just calculated that the individual pressure of helium is 1.87 atmospheres. Once you guys calculate the individual pressures of neon and argon, you can just add those, uh, all of those together, and that will give you the total pressure in the system.